All right, so imagine this. You've got a long running Minecraft server, complete with towns, farms, portals, and a massive minecart station that you sunk all the redstone from 32 chunks into. And then, just when you and your friends are in the middle of farming nether stars, you're all kicked out. When you manage to log back in the next morning, your world's gone, replaced by lava casts as far as the eye can see, and a single sign in the front of the spawn that says, get good noobs. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good time at all. So today, let me share nine tips on how you can protect your Minecraft server from such horror scenarios and make sure that nothing like that ever happens to you. All right, let's get into it. All right, so first up, you've got to protect your server from distributed denial of service attacks or DDoS attacks for short, which are basically floods of fake traffic that try to overload your server, causing insane lag or even full on crashes. All of the hosting providers that are worth their salt, including Hostinger of course, offers DDoS protection that filters out such garbage traffic before it even touches your server. So double back your hosting provider's website or support and make sure DDoS protection is included and enabled. And if that's not the case, well, consider switching to Hostinger maybe. Yeah, that's right, Hostinger might just be the best environment for your Minecraft server, especially if you want it to be fast, secure, and lag free. Forget cryptic interfaces, annoying setups, and shared IP addresses. Our H panel makes managing your Minecraft server super easy. Want to set up a firewall that filters traffic before it reaches your server? Just go for it. And if you're worried about losing your progress, we've got automated weekly backups at no extra charge. If that sounds good, click the link in the description for a limited time Black Friday deal on Minecraft server hosting. But wait, there's more! Apply the discount code BFVPS10 during the checkout for an extra 10% off yearly or longer plans. The Black Friday sale will not last forever, so take this opportunity to get the best deal ever on Minecraft hosting. Okay, now back to your server. But a quick question first. When you were setting up your server, did you share its raw IP with your players? Or heavens forbid, maybe you posted the address somewhere public? Don't do that. Instead of exposing your server's real IP, run it through a proxy or VPN and keep it hidden from trolls and attackers. This way, when players join, they'll be connecting to the proxy server that will route them to your server. Services like TCP Shield or Cloudflare Spectrum are perfect for this. They let you keep things secure and smooth. Oh, and I don't recommend using free proxies or VPNs. Them being real slow might be the least of your worries. Okay, so tip number three is to set up rate limiting for your Minecraft server. This is all about stopping spammy requests before they bog down their server. Without it, bots or scripts can flood your server and seriously slow it down for everyone. If you're not a hosting user, you might be using a different game panel. If that's the case, check its firewall options for rate limiting or connection throttling settings and set a reasonable limit. Hosting your users can implement rate limiting very easily. Just log into your game panel using your credentials and select your service instance. And from here, navigate to configuration. Here you can adjust various settings, including rate limiting. Having a dedicated IP for your Minecraft server isn't just a nice bonus too, it's super practical. With it, you've got one IP address exclusively for your server so you don't have to share with any other users. This makes it easier for players to connect directly. They just need to type in the IP and no port is needed. Best of all, this will add a bit more security to your server since shared IPs are easy targets for random attacks. And yes, all hosting or Minecraft server hosting users do get a dedicated IP. Okay, moving on. Security tip number five might be a bit of a no brainer, but make sure you've properly configured your firewall. A well set up firewall will block unwanted traffic and allow only what's needed for a smooth gameplay experience. The process will differ based on what game panel you're running, of course, and hosting your users can easily set up firewall rules using our game panel's configuration options. If you're only going to have one rule, make sure it allows the default Minecraft port 25565. Then set up the other rules based on your level expertise, allow specific IPs and ports, and block unwanted traffic. When done, save and apply the changes. Okay, next up, let's implement some anti-bot security. Bots can be a major headache flooding servers with fake logins, spam, and general chaos. But luckily, preventing them is as easy as installing a plugin. We won't go over the process of installing a plugin in this video, and chances are you already know how to do that. But if you want some assistance, click on the link in the description, and it will show you how to do that using Hostinger's game panel. 
I recommend setting up Bot Sentry for your server. This plugin is super popular with the community. It filters connections that don't pass basic checks, keeping your server lag free. For extra security, consider adding the Captcha plugin for new players. While for them, it's gonna be pretty easy, but for bots, it's gonna be a hard time. So. Next up, if you're really concerned about massive DDoS attacks or if you've been already hit by one, an external DDoS mitigation service is the way to go. These services specialize in absorbing and deflecting huge volumes of malicious traffic, ensuring that your server stays online no matter what. Services like Cloudflare and Arbor Networks offer top-tier DDoS protection that works under the most extreme circumstances. Setting the DDoS protection service up is as simple as routing your server traffic through their network. As you know, a smooth server is a happy server. That's why my next tip is to optimize your server's performance. This will keep it stable and secure and it won't go down at the first sight of trouble. One way to do that is install a performance boosting plugin like ClearLag and World Border. These plugins reduce server load by clearing access entities and limiting the world size. You can also allocate more RAM to your Minecraft service instance. With Hostinger's game panel, you'll find this option under memory limit. The default value is 1028 megabytes, so consider increasing it if your plan has the resources. Make sure to leave at least 512 megabytes of RAM available for the system. Lastly, always keep your server and plugins up to date. New versions often come with performance and security patches and you really don't want to miss them. Okay, and this brings me to my final tip today. Make sure you enable Sin Cookies. A SYN flood attack is a very sneaky attempt at disrupting your server with bogus traffic. With SYN cookies enabled, you delay the final handshake process so it doesn't waste resources on incomplete or malicious connection attempts. To set SYN cookies, you'll need to connect your server using an SSH client. So use Terminal on Linux or Mac or Putty on Windows. Once you've connected to the server, open the sysctl configuration file using a text editor like Nano or VIM. Then add this line to the file to enable SYN cookies. Okay, now press Ctrl and O to save the changes and Ctrl X to exit the text editor. All there's left to do is apply the changes, so run this command to do so. Feel free to terminate the SSH connection now and pat yourself on the back because you've just tremendously improved your Minecraft server security. And there you have it. By implementing the tips in this video, you'll make your Minecraft server practically impregnable. If you've got any additional security tips for other Minecraft players, please let everyone know in the comment section below the video. If you found this video helpful, leave us a like and consider subscribing to our channel for more helpful videos like this one in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.